want to know which are the most expensive cars ever sold? They are a big deal. Not for kids, only for men with white hair and long beard. So you only need to the full video and. This cars shaped the world over the last century, so it's pretty natural that we're all interested in them. But if you want a nice car, you're going to have to pay more. And if you want a really, really nice car, it isn't going to be cheap. The most expensive cars in the world earn the newest. When someone drops tens of millions on a car they're looking for a sense of history. So prepare yourself to see the most expensive cars ever sold, but before don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe our channel. at the 1964 Paris Motor Show, the 275 GTB was a road car with race-inspired engineering, and the Competition Special took advantage of this more than any other version. Features such as an all-independent suspension, four-wheel disc brakes, a five-speed, all-synchromous transaxle and an optional alloy body, distinguish the 275 from the much larger 330 GTC built beside it and the 250 Lusso built before it. Sold in 2014 for $26.4 million, this car is one of only three in the world. The auction was held by RM Auctions in Monterey, California. Designed for the 1956 Mil Miglia and as a replacement for the 860 Monza, the 290mm was mounted with a V12 engine, with dual ignition and dry sump, derived from the 4.5-liter Grand Prix. Even though this engine could be described as belonging to Lampretti school, its bore and stroke measurements were really more reminiscent of Colombo's V12 than anything else. The car was an immediate success. In fact, Castellotti not only drove it home first in the Mil Miglia, followed by two 860 Monzas piloted by Collins and Musso, but it also took fourth in the same race with Fangio at the wheel. One of just four in the entire world, the 290mm model was built by Juan Manuel Fangio and never crashed, despite an eight-year racing career. It sold for $28 million at an auction in New York in late 2015. In 1954, Mercedes-Benz returned to Grand Prix Sport with a fully newly developed racing car. The W196R complied with all the conditions of the new Grand Prix formula of the CSI, Commission Sport of Internazionale. 750cc displacement with, or 2500cc without, supercharger, no restrictions on fuel composition. From its 2,496cc displacement the W196R delivered 188 kilowatts, 256 horsepower, at 8,260 rpm. The car driven by Juan Manuel Fangio during his victories at the 1954 German and Swiss Grands Prix races was sold at Pebble Beach for $29.6 million. The direct descendant of the 315S, the 335S, made its debut at the infamous 1957 Mil Miglia, with Alfonso de Portago, replacing an unwell Luigi Musso at the wheel at the last minute. The car was lying third when tragedy struck near Gittizolo, killing de Portago, his co-driver Edmund Nelson, and 14 spectators. The ensuing barrage of protests brought the era of high-speed road racing to an end in Italy. The 335S also took part in the Le Mans 24-hour, turning in the fastest lap at an average of over 120 miles per hour. In addition to this, it took the first two places at the Venezuelan 1,000 km, thus contributing to Ferrari's victory in the Manufacturer's World Championship. Sold at an Mercurial auction in 2016. A tense 11-minute bidding war erupted between international collectors over the car, before one of them finally acquired the car for a cool $35.7 million.
1962 Ferrari 250 GTO 38.1 million. The 250 GTO model was the pinnacle of development of the 250 GT series in competition form, whilst still remaining a road car. It made its public debut at the annual pre-season Ferrari press conference in January 1962 and was the only front-engine model on display, with its monopasto and sports racing counterparts all having a mid-engine configuration. Sold at auction by Bonhams in 2014 for $38,115,000. The GTO won the FIA GT World Championship two seasons in a row. Only 39 of the models were built, but this particular car was the best maintained. There you have it, the top 5 most expensive cars in history. Each of these automotive marvels holds a unique place in the hearts of car enthusiasts and collectors alike. Thank you for joining us on this lavish journey. Until next time, remember to dream big and drive safe and don't forget to subscribe.